Okay, let me get to my screen. There we go. All right, so this is Civ 5 by uh, well, uh, Sid Meier, I forgot. Anyways, there's another guy here. Uh, he's not the same guy as before, though. This is Kitty Spam. Say hi. Hello, hello. This is Kitty Spam, all otherwise known as the terrible individual who made uh, Chuck play Super Highlight. Which no one cares about anyway, so no one even really realizes to begin with. Videos that get one or two views, maybe. Just like my E's origin. Ho oh, ho. Okay, so we we were actually talking about this thing for a while to do a sort of uh, co-op recording. Uh, this is actually what made me kind of bring that video up because we talked about this a few months ago. And the original idea might have been like Portal or something, but you know, he's busy, I'm busy, and then everyone's, you know, and you just can't keep track of people. So we finally decided to do Civ 5 because I decided to buy a few games on Steam and this was one of them for the heck of it. Okay, so I'm going to leave... I love this game. Yeah. So I'll leave the floor up to you right now to, I guess, explain the game to me because we're going to go through this entire process. Yeah, because Civ 5 is complicated. Okay, so the first question is, how long do you want this game to be? How many times do you want to do this? How many times do you want to hear my wonderful voice? That's up to how many times we can actually do this, pretty much. There's no set amount. It's like Terraria. There's no set amount of parts to it. There's no set okay. amount of parts to any game in theory until I hit the end, and I don't think this game has an end. Oh, it does, depending on how we want to do it. So. Or until you get bored. Until we, yeah, and that's the thing. We can just, so I, I would like to go through a whole game, but I don't want to make it... So there's kind of standard settings, but a standard game of this might take like 10 hours. So mm -hmm. I don't want to do that to start you off. Well, no, um, and, and I'm not recording for 10 hours, but you can come back to the game, right? Right. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean total. I don't mean today. I mean total how many parts, do you, that kind of thing. Okay, so yeah. One of the other things, bring up my options here. You might want to be careful. I'm start, You're starting to cut out a little bit. Maybe you should go from push to talk to uh, voice thing because I think when you're trying to control I can't hear you okay because you were cutting out there for a bit yeah we were having some discord issues before but then we both restarted and everything was fine and dandy yeah discord is great yeah well it, you can hear me now? Yeah, yeah. It's better like this because awesome. uh, the other time, I'm not going to push a button when I have to do other buttons to talk, you know? That way, my keyboard's completely free. Yeah. So, so I missed out a so whole I... bunch of your explanation. Okay. So, game is complicated. Uh, settings determine how long the game is. You can do size. I don't know if you can see my options screen. You may not be able to when I click options. No, 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 um, no, no one can see anything you're doing right okay. now. Okay. Oh, the only thing I, I wait, oh, wait. If it, you look at, if okay, you wait. look at map type. Okay, no, are, now I see it. Yeah, that should be changing because there are tons of different map types and each different map type is a different game. Um, you know, you could do it with the Eastern United States. Oh, You can do an cool. Earth map. Ooh. You can do continents map. You can do Europe. You could do Amazon. You could do archipelago. I bet all kind of different things. And yet, I bet you there's no Mars on it. <laughs> I think there is, um, but it's because they wanted people to be able to make a mods for it to make it Alpha Centauri, mm. and I think that's Terra is what that's called. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, that's well, what's, but Alpha Centauri is a different game that I love even more than Civ, but is very, very old and has some issues. Hmm. What I consider kind of a standard map is continents, which you have a few large land masses and some smaller islands. Uh, you then get to see basically every part of the game, where if you do a different type of map, you might not get to see ocean, for example. Uh, it does lead to a longer game a little bit than if you do... A game, a game where everybody starts on the same landmass, but the other thing you take care of with is map size, um, which I'm going to set to small, which is a six players. I'm going to give game pace to standard because quick teaches you bad things, um, and you can also start the game in in different eras. So one of the things that you do in this is you actually research technologies. 
and you go through the different eras of human civilization, starting out in the ancient area, going to past modern era, uh, starting out when people just started uh, raising crops to sending a spaceship off to Alpha Centauri. If you wanted to, you could start the game in a different era, like the um, industrial era or things like that. I like to do ancient era because it again shows you the entire game. Mm. Uh, turn mode, we won't worry about that. It's if we were fighting each other, it would be different. World age, temperature, rainfall, sea, sea level, all of these other things. Just are various different ways that you can change the game. There are multiple ways that you can win. You should see time, science, domination, cultural, and diplomatic victory types on there. I will talk about those as we do it. I'm going to take quick combat off. Uh, allow all the DLC. And then we should be good. Okay. Click on uh, where it has the random leader. Mm-hmm. I looked at it through and that quickly while you were talking. Okay. You, if this is not as good as if you were playing single player because you cannot see the different things that each leader does. The leaders are not balanced. I'll just say that straight up. Um, there are so many different leaders. Some of them are really weak. Some of them are really strong. Some of them are strong on certain map types. Some of them are weak on certain map types. Uh, for example, Attila, the Huns, he is really good if you want to attack somebody right in the beginning of the game. But by the time you get to like the Middle Ages, he's pretty much going to be dead. Because he, each, each leader has different powers, basically. They have a different building that only they can build, and they have a different unique unit, a different military unit that only they can build. But the units come in different eras of the game. Attila's unit is basically a very good uh, thing for knocking down walls in the, in the ancient era. By the time you get gunpowder, you can overrun him good ones for to play that are very strong to begin um, I would recommend either China uh, I was at the very end of the list Wu Zetan is very good uh, Sejong in Korea is also very good he gets a science bonus um, yeah, da, 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 da. Elizabeth gets a money bonus and she is also very good I'm probably going to play America, I think, uh, just because I like playing America. Well, you see, for me, I was looking at the list. I would have gone for Kazimir to the third Poland because I'm part Polish technically. But oh, okay. That wouldn't technically... I have not played Poland. I don't know how good they are. I'm Poland uh... then. <laughs> All right. But I'm mostly Ukrainian. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Only part Polish. There is Russia in there, but if you're Ukrainian, you probably Screw the Russians. Yeah. Screw the <laughs> Russians. I I have no ill will towards them. That's like in the past, and I didn't even live in Ukraine. I've never lived in yeah. Ukraine. That was... I think they're probably going to invade Ukraine again. Probably. Oh, why not? Uh, what are, they can't govern anyway. Yeah. Okay. So then we would need to put in computers unless we just wanted to have us, which would be a mistake because we're going to try not to kill each other. Oh. Now, one of the things that we're going to do so that I can see your land is put ourselves on each on the same team. And then we have uh, a different type of person here. I see we have settler, chieftain, warlord, prince. That it seems to be difficulty that, things. That is the difficulty level, right. Oh. I would leave it on prince since you have me helping you and since we are... Uh, teamed up. Sometimes when I team up with people, I will team up the AI to give the AI a help, but since you're extremely new, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Um, the the um, the AI now will be alone. We should be able to pick them off pretty easily. Uh, Weak links. Yep, since I'm helping you, uh, that's probably the best way to Ooh, do it. Ooh, okay. the entire screen turned green. Yes, I just clicked ready up. So there's a button now that says I'm happy with all the settings. Uh, should be a check mark on the right side. You need to click that. Ah, uh, ready. So that we can now start the game. All right. Ooh, game is starting in six, five, four, three, three two. two. There, one. there, te there technically shouldn't be a one if you're following film logic. Yeah, you're correct. 
Okay, so, uh, just to bring up something while this is loading, I mm -hmm. actually had to change some settings to get this game to even show in OBS, because usually I do window capture. All my games are windowed. I don't play full screen so I can see my, uh, recording status, uh, you know, the time and such. This game required me to select a different... I couldn't even do, uh, select window. I actually, I, I was getting... I only got, like, the logos and then mm. nothing else. Uh, I had to actually choose the game option instead, which I've never used before. So that was kind of weird. So I was wondering, oh, I can't see the recorder, but I can. Just a different option. That one wasn't used. To. Everything in OBS is set to basically just switch window, and everything's set for me, pretty much. Okay. For fast recording. Yeah. All right. So you should have gotten a kind of a opening screen that tells you a little bit about your civilization. Um, uh, I might have missed that because I was talking. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it would. I will, if you want to. I mean, I'm gonna go to um, the help and look up Poland since I have never done anything with them before, and see what their unique unit is. And the mm. winged hussar. Okay, so that's gonna be a replacement for a knight. Probably. I'm just looking through certain small things quickly. Oh, for it. Oh, that replaces the lancer. Okay, so that's higher in tech. And the Ducal Stable. Diplomacy. Oh, okay. Huh, you're going to want to... I don't usually build stables, but you might want to, since that gives you more gold on pasture piles. Mm. That's interesting. Okay. okay. Uh, and what is your leader thing? Receive a free social policy when you advance to the next era. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Okay, right. I have a remark about this game right off the bat. Um, mm -hmm. I am finding that... The select things is weird. I'm like hovering below, above the things, never on the buttons. So I'm, it's, I'm like above these different option menus. So I don't know what like the detection is for. I don't know. It's weird. That is strange. My, it doesn't usually do that for me. Um, you'll so, be, able, you'll be able to see in the recording. Yeah. the The first thing that you want to do is found your first city. Uh -huh. So you should start with two units. Okay, one is a warrior and one is a settler. Mm -hmm. Settlers are what found cities, amazingly enough. Well, amazing. Um, I never knew that. And warriors. Yeah, I never knew that, did you? Yeah. And, and, okay, so and what do warriors do? Protect it? Cities. They will fight things, you can explore with them, all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. uh, let me found my city, and then we will go through the uh, things that you will then see at the top of your screen. All right. So this is basically a simulation, and it is simulating civilization. So it has a bunch of different things that you have to worry about. Uh-huh. The bunch of different screens. As soon as you found your first city, you will look at the top left, and you're going to see a bunch of icons above um, what I, on your screen will probably be just a little square, a little circular thing, because you haven't decided, told it to choose something, the info panel yet. Um, yeah, a bunch of arrows. You should, one of them will be look like a beaker. It's a blue. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That that tells you the number of science points that you are getting for a through by turn. Okay. The science points are what lead to technologies. Technologies do a bunch of different things. We will open the tech tree in a minute, and I'll talk more about technologies. Next to that, you will is your gold. How much gold you have, which currently should be zero because we are just starting and how much gold you are making a turn. I am making plus three a turn right now. Oh, that's where mine says two. Next to that, you should have uh, two arrows. Those are the number of trade routes you have. Once we get a specific tech, we can start building trade routes, which, as you might expect, will give you more money and are great things to have. Beside that, you have a smiling face right now because everybody in your happiness that tells you your level of happiness. It, and also, always, if you hover on over one of these, you, for you, you might have to put it a little above it, but if you put your cursor um, on it, it will tell you more information. So if you put it, for example, on your money icon, it will tell you where your money is coming from and how much money you are spending. Mm -hmm. Having military units, having different buildings, all of those things cost money. So you always have to worry about how much money you are spending versus how much money you are making. Uh, you have to balance your books, even though civilization is generally didn't, and everybody runs with a budget deficit most of the time. Uh, no more politics here. Various things will cause unhappiness if you hover over that. 
the main thing will be your, your number of cities and your population. The more cities you have, the more people you have, the more unhappiness you have. So as you get larger, you have to build things to make people happy. Various texts, various buildings, things like the Colosseum will make people happier. The, to the right of that, you will see the, a marker that basically tells you when you're going to get into a, what is called a golden age. Uh, golden ages are great things to have. They increase production. They increase uh, all these kind of things and culture. We'll talk about culture in a minute. The more happiness you have, the quicker you get to golden ages. Then you have culture. Culture allows you to create policies. If you click on the right side of the screen, you should see what looks like a um, F button, a uh, social policies. It should be a paper and a quill. Mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah, yeah. I see all okay. of that. Okay. If you click on that, I can't see where you're pointing. So that yeah. will that'll show you your social policies. These will do different things for your civilization. Okay, if you like hover over tradition, it'll tell you a bunch of different things that you can get from it. Um, or you can win as you as you get more culture, you can choose social policies. You choose mm -hmm. different social policies depending on what you want to do. Uh, tradition will be for small empires. Honor is good for fighting. Liberty gives you is good for empires you want to expand quickly. Piety is great for if you want to focus on religion. We'll get to religion eventually, not right now. Um, okay, so that is culture. Then you have tourism. We will probably not get to talk about tourism this time. It's an advanced thing. Then you have faith. Faith is what allows you to found a religion. Founding a religion is wonderful because it gives you various bonuses and then you can try and spread your religion to other cultures. Mm. And you can do various things in cultures where you have your religion spread. So you want to try and get a religion. Okay? All right. Then if you click on the info panel that says change info panel below it, I usually have mine clicked on research info, but you can use that to get a lot of different information about your empire. You can use it to show all, all the units that you have, all the resources that you have. We'll talk about resources in a minute, great people, but I usually keep it on research. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you are starting, the things you were, that are most important to do in the beginning are to found cities quickly, making good territory. We'll talk about what good territory means in a moment and just explore just move units that you build around so you can see the map you said you played supreme commander i think supreme commander has a uh, fog of war like most games but if you look at your screen right now there's a lot of places where there's basically cloud yeah that is because you haven't been there uh. so if, you, if you move for example your uh polish warrior to the right of the screen like to the hex mm -hmm. to the one hex to the right. Huh. Uh, you, you do that by clicking on it and then uh, clicking move here. Just right clicking on the tile you want it to move to. Oh, okay, right click. Mm -hmm. Woo, they moved. Yes. Ruins and you will discovered. now be able to and you'll be able to see more places. I moved mine mm -hmm. and I discovered what was a called an ancient ruin. A better term for these are goody huts. Oh, we're on different... Oh, I see. We're, we're kind of in different areas. I didn't notice mm -hmm. that at first. Yeah, we you would not be able to see where I am. I would not be able to see where you are if we weren't. That's okay. why I wanted to ally for this first one, especially. Okay. Ancient ruins are great because you get various things if you land on them. So you want to find them and land on them as quickly as possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why you want to explore quickly. You should have two moves with your Polish warrior. So you could either move on up to the northwest uh, onto what is called wine there, which is a great resource. You have a very good starting position. Oh, wine. Uh, Too bad yeah. I don't drink wine. It requires calendar to yep. use. What, what that means is you have to have a certain tech before you can... A, 
put put a worker on that tile and improve the tile so that your civilization will what that does is it increases happiness mm. which makes sense if you think about why it's a well, specific some people <laughs> makes them some people not yeah, happy. have issues with it it's a particular type of resource that is basically a happiness resource and as you expand you want to find those to the west of the line there's silver silver also is another happiness resource so you want to be able, you want to work that tile when you can. I moved on to a mountain, so I do not have another movement point on my warrior. Uh, Land uh, matters. I Some tiles are easier to move in than others. I should move the sheep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you I'm should gonna... move on to the sheep, but you can't move the sheep. They're just another resource. They're not one of your units. Damn sheep. The sheep are great for increasing food production. So they're also a very good thing to have, as are uh, That will require a specific tech, though. Yeah, I see that. Husbandry. Husbandry. Correct. All right. Click on your city. On the city? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so... And it should open up another screen. Okay, Warsaw. Bam. Yep. Now this is where we get things get a little more complicated. If you look, look at the city, it will tell you what the city is producing. Mine right now, for example, is producing two food, six production, three gold, four science, and one culture. Uh, mine is plus five production, so I only have one less production than you. Everything else is the same. Okay. Every All of the things that you make and that, in, that increase things, the things at the top right, the top left, like your happiness, your gold, your science, they come from your cities. Okay. If you click, for example, on citizen management in the left, on the right, it should be able to expand. Yeah. This is where you tell your city what tiles to work. Different tiles produce different things. If you look in my city, uh, I have two what are called wheat, which are great tiles to produce food. So each one of those tiles produces two food and one uh, hammer. The green little uh, things that look like apples are food. Hammer is production. It's going to be the same as over on the uh, left side in the city screen where it says food and production. The same little icon. Man, I didn't know Warsaw and Washington were so close together. I know, yeah. <laughs> yep. America and Poland right beside each other. I thought yeah, you, I thought there, you, are, there are, there I are thought, mods where you can give people historical starting positions. Normally, the game does not do that. I can make peace or declare war. Hmm. <laughs> We're allies, so I don't think you can declare war on me. Yeah, damn it. Why? I, I, I'm, uh, I'm allowed to betray you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So do you see where, where there, the different things on um, for each tile where... You've got the different types of things that you can work. Yeah. Different units you get from it. Okay. So if you wanted to change the tiles you work on, there, click on one of the production or the food or the gold focus mm -hmm. in the little thing on the right. That would kind of tell the what's called the governor of your city, I want to focus on working this specific thing. You can also just click on specific tiles and tell your people to work that tile uh if you want to get really really particular a lot of people every time just ignore the the focus and tell each one of their place people where to work and you would just like click on a uh, a little circle and then your you see the circle right would become filled in with a green lock and you have now selected that tile to work all right so I don't think we need to go through every single detail in the explanation. I get the kind of idea of it, it's, but uh, I think okay. it's more of a do than uh, explain right. type thing. I'm also more of a I'm also more of a learner by doing than listening. Okay. That's why I'm not that too was, good at school. Yeah, yeah, that was but that I was pretty much the end of the yeah, explanation okay. for now until things come up. Wow, what perfect timing! Um, yep, but so now this you all uh, the next thing that's up is you're going to need to choose production. Mm-hmm. 
you click on choose production, you'll have different things that the city can build. I usually start with building a scout, because scouts are great for exploring. Other things you can build are a worker, a warrior, a monument. If you hover over each one of those things, it will tell you what it does. And I'll just let you look at that. Yeah, I have it. I can worker, scout, warrior, monument mm -hmm. for buildings. Yep, yep. It has a bunch of costs, and I'm... Okay, so, okay, I see. I have... Basically, I can't afford anything. Well, we, you'll ta take several turns to produce it. Uh -huh. If you're trying to buy it, no, you're not going to be able to okay. buy any of them. You want to click change production, not purchase. Okay. Eight turns until a new citizen is born. Yep. So uh, basically, people are born as... As, the fo as you yeah. fill up the food... Um, tile the food okay. kind of bar all right so i guess i can even just decide to move anywhere in theory at this point yeah you can't move on water yet no uh, but your warrior has one more move and it can move to any tile since mm -hmm. you're already heading kind of north my i would either move directly east or uh, northwest uh-huh for exploring but I could go anywhere, basically, right? Yeah. 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 All right, let's see. Until then. you run out of movement points. Okay. For this turn. Let's just go here. Bam. Yep. And you'll see that you have uncovered more area. That's going to be a lot of snowy area. Hey, it's okay. just like where it is with me right now in yes. outside. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so you're going to eventually want to choose a technology to research. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you, when you bring up a bunch of all the different technologies, you'll probably want to hit open technology tree so you can see the technology tree. Because different technologies lead to other technologies. Yeah, I, I saw that earlier when I was looking through things. Wow, okay. I was having trouble. There's this thing, menu here I'm under, and I was like, I can't close this thing. Like, it's because the close, you literally have to click the word only, and it still has to go above it. Mm. So you'll, you can see me in the recording, like, filling with this menu, trying to close it all over the place. I'm like, oh, I finally just figured it out. Okay. All right. The, all right, so. I usually start with pottery. Because pottery allows you to build the shrine, which increases. And it allows you to build a granary, which makes people born faster. Uh -huh. So your population increases faster. All right. Pottery. Pottery it is. Any of the other technologies are good depending on your specific situation. For uh, example, since you have sheep, you there, may want to do animal husbandry first. Oh, uh, well, too late. Okay. More into pottery. pottery. Yep. Um, so I think that's generally all we're going to be able to do this turn. Uh huh. And they'll be heavy on the explanation now. There's not going to be much explanation in the future until the things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so now you would just hit next turn. Well, well, and then yeah, the AI it. will work. Unless you, if you've got more things to do when you hit next turn, it'll tell you. I just gotta find this next turn thing now. Probably a menu I closed somewhere. Um, it should be over to the bottom right. Uh huh. Over your mini map. Over my mini map, eh? The mini map is the thing on the. Yeah, I see that. I can okay. choose production. Okay, you need to choose production. Okay, that's why. Uh -huh. Click that, and you, sh and that's where you go in and say, um, you're one. You're telling your city what to build. Ah, uh, okay. I generally do a scout. Okay, so that's why I couldn't. Uh, yeah, uh, that's why you couldn't end your turn. You still had something. You okay, there we go. Next turn. Awesome. It said next. Okay, waiting for players. Yep. All right. So now you just while we're, you're gonna move your units around and explore things. Mm-hmm. I'm going to head down to this ancient ruins, and I got a map that gave me a, a surrounding area, one of the worst things you can get, but that's all I can do on this turn, mm -hmm. so I just hit next turn. You did the same, exploring over that way. Unit needs good. orders. Your turn has begun. So basically, we're just walking around exploring at this point, right? There's not much yep. else we can do. Yeah, not much. Until we get a couple scouts, then we would explore with those, and then we'll start trying to decide where we want to build our city. Mm -hmm. 
Are there people who stream this game? Yep. Uh, and I guess they... You have met... Hey. I've met Hanoi. All right. Yes. Well, I've met Hanoi. Oh, okay. Um, so these are city-states. City-states are tiny little cities that... Kind of, mm, trying to say things here without being insulting. Um, yeah, insult all you want. They, they don't expand. They don't have a big, huge effect on the game. You can either try and take them over, or you can be friendly with them, and they give you bonuses depending on which type of city-state they are, if you're mm -hmm. friendly with them. Okay. Basically, the way to be friendly with them is to give them money. Well, yeah, of course. They were, were, everyone... that would, yeah, that would work make friends with anybody, right? Yeah, I bet I could get a lot of friends if I gave them my money, but I don't want to give them my money. It's my money. If, if you, exactly. <laughs> Uh, if you kind of, if you click on them, you it'll look like if you click okay. I see you met Hanoi. I was I was I just saw Hanoi. I, I see now it's on your area. Yeah, that was because of the ally thing. Again. Okay, and that's it. I think too, but you still probably should be able to click on them, and it'll bring up the screen that says where you can gift them money and they'll pledge to protect them. Yeah, well, they're not getting my money right now because I don't really. Oh, I have thirty nine. <laughs> I'm not giving them thirty nine money. Yeah. You have, I think you have to give them 50 before you can do anything. There anyway. you go. Well, I think... Well, let's see what we got here. That yeah, doesn't really tell me. It just says they're neutral. So, right. Yeah. And they have to be allied or friends before they'll start giving you bonus. I'm Hanoi is a military city-state. You can tell that because they've got the little swords beside their name. Ah. So they would give you military units if you're friendly with them. I'm pretty much just exploring the mountains right now. I'm heading nowhere fast. <laughs> It is a slow game, um, being turn-based especially. Yeah, which is because it's Supreme Commander is not turn-based. Yeah, that one is more like, you know, everything happens in real time. Yeah, that's a, that is a real-time strategy, which is very it's different. I, I like turn-based much more. I see. Not if everyone has the patience the... for it, though. I can probably tell you that. That's why some people probably can't get into the game. Yeah, if you look on my map now, you will see some barbarians. Ooh. To the barbarian camps are basically just random units that will attack you. Uh -huh. and each the camp will continue to produce barbarians until you destroy it. Well, you know what to do. Take them out now. That's right. Uh, I do not have enough military units to do that yet. But uh -huh. Yes, that'll be on the agenda. Uh, so it's there to my south. Basically. Whoa! Hey, I think my scouts have come because I see more people popped up in my city. Yes, that is your scout. Scouts are great because they are not affected by terrain. They will move two spaces regardless of terrain. So once uh, once the uh, things are produced, I can choose more production, basically, right? Correct. Okay, because I noticed I they came. Two, I usually build two scouts. Uh huh. And start worrying about building others. Maybe a worker. Well, right now warriors not warriors not really necessary because I, I I ain't met no barbarians yet. Yep, and you still got the one so. I would recommend another worker. Uh huh. All right. So, I so can I move only one unit at a time, or? No, you can use all. Oh, you can only move one unit at a time. Yeah. So uh, per, you okay. Well, unit. I mean, per turn though. Or, oh no, you can move all of your units. Okay. Okay, I see what you mean. Okay, I get it now. But you can't move two of them at the same time, kind of like you can in a time strategy where you can mm -hmm. draw a square around something and move all the units that are in that square. Yeah. Okay. Something I wish they would add. Uh, I guess I'll continue with the ice exploration here. That, oh, I'm going around in a circle. I'm actually going around in a circle. It, 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 okay. it goes around a lake. Yep. It's just, I just, I, was, okay. I just wasn't expecting that. Oh, well, you don't. You never know what the map is going to look like each time mm -hmm. you play. These are one of the cool things. Yeah. Oh, it's random generated? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I'm going to be heading toward, the, uh, toward you just so uh. we can open up the area in between us. I'm gonna go. On the same continent or not. I'm gonna Probably. go south. I think there's a small landmass possibly connecting. I can see. Yeah. Uh, you need, needs orders. Okay, I guess it's my turn again. Or did I just yep. not move you? I don't remember. Okay. I. Hmm. Next turn. Next turn. Yeah, you got some. A decent starting area. Not a lot of food, but you're on a river. Oh, well, That's we're going to starve. That gives you a lot of... A lot of... The food gives you... 
the river gives you good food. Uh oh, I meant hey, barbarians. barbarians. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> they look deer. They're, they're, we're on turn six. They're not a problem until about turn 15 or so. Okay. Ooh, we may not be connected. Hmm. You might, yeah, we might not be then. That might just be a random landmass. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, I discovered more ruins. All that is good. Alright, we have now discovered pottery. Uh -huh. Pottery is great because it allows you to build shrines and granaries. I usually you start building a shrine pot. after I build my two uh, scouts because you want a religion early. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain that why when we one of us gets a religion. Choose research. So, looking at your, the things that are around your city, what do you think would be a good thing for you to research next? Around mine. I have a lot of animals. I'd say husbandry. Mm -hmm. That would be logical. You know, sheep, deer. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you can do is kind of an early strategy. Um, you can go to writing quickly because mm -hmm. that allows you to build libraries. And then you can go quickly to philosophy. Now, I discovered ruins. And get what is called a national college, because in national college, you have to have a library in all cities. It greatly increases your research. Uh -huh. But the more cities you have, the more expensive it is to build. So you want to build it early. Well, the deer, husbandry is useless for the deer, because they require yeah, trapping. Exactly, exactly. But that's kind of the push and pull, is do you want to do research something that's going to be really useful for you right away? Or do you want to say, okay, no, I need this thing that's farther off, so I'm going to go farther down into the tech tree and try and get it. Hmm. Well, um, I went around my circle. Now my exactly. they're coming back. Yeah, Hold we're us. we're not connected at all. Okay, it's called a slingshot research. If you go deep into the tech tree. Hmm. Oh, the barbarians are gone. Okay, it's fine. I didn't like them anyway. Warsaw has grown. Yep, you just got new population. Cool. Monaco. Oh, I need to change my. Focus. I usually put on myself on food focus in the early because you want quick population. Oh, this unit here is not going to make much progress at this rate. Since you found a ruin, you want to get back quickly to somebody else. Oh. If there are other I... AI on the map, they could get the ruin first. Oh, I have to go there. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I should have told That's, you that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, ruins. You got a lot of ruins. I discovered yeah. one. Going to have to move my soon my warrior back up to my city to protect some barbarians, I suspect. But, but yeah, you want to find as many ruins as you can quickly. Well, that's, okay. well I, that's weird. We're building civilization, but there's ruins. It means that there was civilization before us. Yep. So I get to adopt a policy now. I don't know if you have enough culture to do that. Probably do not. You? Okay, you should have come up and said adopt a policy. No, it's waiting for players. Do, okay, when you do, let me know and I'll talk about that. Eh. All right, tradition. My turn. I built a shrine after I built my next um, uh, scout, but... Oh, I discovered a natural wonder. Nice. Hmm. Natural wonders are basically things like Old Faithful. Ah, uh, um, yeah. Are special places that will give you special bonuses. Ah, uh, my special place is my basement. Yep. Uh, Old Faithful. Um, I think it was uh, another one. All right, I have three sets of uh, scouts now. Now I'm going to be working on some workers. Because I chose scouts twice. One thing you can do to... Um, steal workers from city-states rather than building Yeah. So, sometimes I do that. Yeah, well, like, it, you have to, do you have to be close by to them to uh, be able to do that? Yeah, you would need to have That's one of the units. I, I got nothing on my continent right now. Toward a city-state? Yeah, you haven't found any city-states, have you? Hmm. Right. Nope, nope, I'm alone on this one. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no, people, people bad. That's yeah, it. Like three city-states, never mind. Jesus Christ almighty. Yeah. What are you going to do with all these city-states? Oh boy, more barbarians. Oh wait, I see Genoa. I think that 
Yeah, I might have discovered that one. Oh, nope. You see Genoa. Yeah, I okay. see. I, I mean, I literally see it here. Uh, got it. Cool. They are... They will probably not have a worker until turn 30. So if you want to build one now, that is perfectly acceptable because you can get it earlier. They do not fear your military and will resist tribal demands. No religious followers in the city. No, yeah, next nobody turn. Nobody has a religion yet. All right, I got a technology for a unit. Sailing. Ooh, who do I have close to me? I have the Byzantines close to me. All right, found an AI to destroy. Oh, I can't uh, do any of that until I actually see it for myself. Right, you have discovered got... animal husbandry. Good. Sheepy, yes. sheepy. I'm going to get you sheepy. 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 Sheepies, I'm going to come get we you. Can now, we can now figure out how to build fences, and you should have found maybe horses around you. No, I found mostly deer. Oh, yeah, those are the horses. Yeah, they don't appear on the map until you discovered how Yeah, they're there. Uh, horses are great for specific military units. Ah. Uh, you need them to build, like, horse chariots. Oh, I need to choose a resource. That's why I couldn't do anything. Yeah. <sighs> well, let's Libraries see. are good. Um... I don't really need anything from my workers. We have mining already. Um, archery builds you allowed you to build archers. I'm gonna start mining because I have silver. Okay. Mining will allow us to go down to bronze working, which uh, reveals iron, which allows you to build swordsmen, which are great, great, great early units. Now, of course, you have to have iron in your city before you can do that. Yeah. You have cooked because you can't build swords without iron. No, but I'm going to at least mine silver. Yes. Silver will make your people happy because they have jewelry. Good. All right. What do I want to do with you people? I was if I, go, I can't go into Jonoa, can I? Or can I? Um, you can. They will not like it too much, but yeah. they can't really do anything about Un it. Until I give them money. Yeah. All it will be is they'll just be kind of upset with you, but it doesn't matter too much. You'll, you'll get like, you are trespassing in Genoa. And you'll be like, so what? Oh, borders don't exist. Well, they do, but... Yeah. But, <laughs> mm, the barbarians... Barbarians are now going to be attacking Genoa. If you want to make Genoa like you, one thing you can do is... And they'll be happy. I didn't, hear, I didn't hear that first... I didn't hear the last part. You kind of cut out there. If I want to make them like me... You can kill barbarians near their city. Okay. You want keep the mic uh, close to you, just in case. Yep. Yeah. Just to make sure. You didn't I'm need kind of eating some kale right now too, so I don't want. To oh, know. kale. Yes. Fancy. I like it. Okay, so I move on to the sheep. What do I do when I get to the sheep? Can I do okay. anything? Okay. You have to have a worker to be uh, able to. I'm only making the workers now, so. Right. That's yeah. what, okay, scouts. Yeah, of course. the scouts can only. Okay. okay. All right. Not a big deal. You're not got... supposed to know these things. I hey, got... ruins. Yep. I got ruins again. Nice. I got a lot of gold here. Gold and silver. A lot of gold and silver here. All right. You need Yeah, force. gold's a great. Uh, gives you a lot of money and it allows you to make. Okay. So I even. Can I even go up these mountains? So, depending on what you mean by a mountain, um, uh, yeah, it's terrain. About the things it's north terrain. of your, if you're talking about north of your city, no, those That's, are impassable. Okay. If you're talking about the little hills, kind of things. No, no, south, no. I'm yes. talking about the huge mountains because I'm basically yeah. running out of places to explore until I go more south. Yeah, north. Uh, you're not gonna be able to explore too much more. The and we're on small maps, so you may run out of places to explore sooner than normal. But which is good. That way we won't be doing this for 20 hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people will pay the place for 20 hours. Oh gosh, yes. You can. People will put. You can put this on a slow speed mm -hmm. and a huge map, and a game can take a hundred hours. Okay, so. Oh crap. If you look at my screen, you're gonna see some it, of my it brought, it brought me there. By barbarians. Yeah, it brought me there right away. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm gonna move my warrior back up now to protect my barbarians. We well, see, I have, I have a. What are these people? All right, I built a shrine, I've, so I'm now making. Barbarian face. brood. That's not mine, is it? 
No, that's the barbarians. Great. The barbarians Get... will start to build units and move around and attack your unit. Yeah, because I have units right next, like literally right next to the brute, and which are right next to the ruin. Basically, there's mm -hmm. the barbarian camp next to the barbarian yeah. brute, right next to the ruins I was heading to. So I'm screwed, aren't I? Um, not necessarily. I would stay on that hill and let the barbarians attack you and they'll probably kill themselves and then you can go get the ruins or you can build another military unit after you build your worker and come down and destroy the barbarian camp and then get the ruins well wait, wait, um, wait on the hill wait i don't get oh i'm uh, sorry terrain gives you defense bonuses so a hill increases your defense so if you leave your war warrior on the hill when those barbarians attack you, they will basically kill themselves because they won't be able to kill you because your defense on the, the hill will be too high. That Really? That, that will happen? That seems weird. It won't. Um, it's like only a attack, chance. If you attack them now, you'll both oh, take yeah, of damage. Course. But if I'll they take, attack you, But I'll probably take more damage, won't I? Because I'm kind of weak. Like, these are just scouts, aren't they? Uh, no, there's a, that's a Polish warrior. Oh, oh yeah, they're pulling. Oh, they're warriors. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I you see. You would take. You do more damage to them than they would to you. Whoa! I just accidentally moved them really high up. <laughs> That's okay. That works. Because I was just. Mo I was moving. I was just kind of moving around. And accidentally right clicked. Well, uh, they're gone anyway. Yep. You can't see them now. They're still uh, there. Okay, I see but, that. But uh, if what? Because what the way the game works is you can only see where you've. Ex Okay, so the warriors... Okay, I see. I get it. The warriors haven't actually explored anything. They have basically just walked in the area so I could see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I, I got confused about my whole uh, my whole force of people who, uh, who I had. Yeah. You're, the red there is kind of like your Polish red. So yeah. Okay, sense. I forgot I had a bunch of warriors. I guess I started out with them because the Polish are a bunch of uh, fighting you, freaks. You you always start with one warrior and a settler. Okay. Uh, so, I get it. yeah. I don't think there's a um, civ that starts with an extra warrior. I'm not sure. Zulu might. Zulu are very militaristic. Budapest is attacking. All right. When and if you look over near my Washington now. Um, Barbarian unit is close to my city, so mm -hmm. I can fire on this barbarian unit from my city, basically. Yeah. I'm gonna move my settler into the city so it'll be protected from the barbarian, and then hopefully get my warrior back up there and kill it for the barbarian. Okay, eventually. I see. I'm gonna see. fortify that. Now you got three cities that you mm. can uh, make friends or hate. Yep. When they build workers, I'm gonna take them from them, hopefully, and put farms on these wheat. And then a mine on the silver. Uh, okay, what should I do with my warriors? Should I go to the bar? Because it looks like they're heading up to my city. I'm wondering if I should just try and take them down, or maybe I should... I would wait until they get close to your city, because then the city can attack the barbarians okay. along with your warrior. So bring and my warriors back city. up to uh, yeah. the city? Yeah, yeah, that would be my recommendation. Okay. Especially since you haven't found an AI on your continent yet. They mm. will take that... Um, you may lose that... Um, the the ruin there because somebody else may get it before you but yeah. keeping your warrior alive is more important i haven't seen any uh i haven't seen any ais yet yeah i haven't either that's why i'm not as worried about you rushing directly to that ruin what if i keep all my units in the city does that make it more likely that it'll be def like I, you can't do that you can keep one unit in your city because you have one unit per tile. Mm -hmm. In the past, you could put lots of units on a tile. They changed that in this okay. in this version. Um, it will increase the defense of your city if you have a military unit in there, yes. Okay. And it is recommended eventually to start doing that. All right, another ruin. You, I can you just keep discovering because right now I don't know what to do with my scouts. Just move around and explore. Well, the thing is, uh, the barbarians were in my way. Also, my scouts were really, like, high up, so now they have to move down. Yep. So I got a lot of... I basically have to do a lot of crap. Uh, I'm going to take... I have to move around that way. It's going to be 22 turns to get to that ruin. Yes. All right. Hmm.
Just went to every time you get into a fight, it automatically goes to your screen. Wow, you're getting yeah. I may I should might have put on should have put on quick combat to speed things up, but I thought you'd be better for you to see. The, the enemy has been spotted near Warsaw. Oh boy, can I beat them to Warsaw? Oh yeah, there there there's there's just talking about the barbarian brute that is right beside your. So they'll move up toward Warsaw. Your city will be able to attack them, and your uh -huh. warrior will be able. To I don't think the warriors are going to make it at this rate. No, they're um. One north of the barbarians already. Yeah, I put them there. The okay, wait. The city is the whole outline. The city, yes. Okay. Once they are in that and that red circle, your city will be able to attack. Them. Okay, I thought they had to be literally directly in the city thing. No, no, no. If you want to increase the defense of the city, they do. Okay, I see. Those those barbarians will not be able to take your city in one turn. To take a city, you have to attack it with several units and several turns. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to do. That's why I am not going down and taking Byzantium's cantle, uh, mm. Constantinople, right now. Man, they're just like going. To, they they have. Well, go ahead. Oh, uh, because uh, it it just suddenly switched to your screen again. So I was like, yeah, sorry. They just I seemed, was killing barbarians. They just seem to be going around my city for now. Like, oh, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do, man. Yep. I'm gonna go archery for my research so I can make archers. I get to choose research too. Yes. Alright, so. Last one I did was mining. I'm gonna look at what I have here. I know I saw something that needed a calendar. What is that? I was gonna construct wine. plantations on. Oh, yeah, the wine. Growth and all these for production when building ranged. Writing. Trapping could be good for the deer. Correct. So they must have an improved source of horses or ivory nearby. I haven't seen ivory, but I have horses. I'm going to go for calendar and make everyone drunk. So I can get uh, wine. Yes. And we're going to get drunk. Right. Okay. It's not alcoholic. Man, you're getting into a lot of battles. Yeah, I got a bunch of barbarians. That's why I'm going for archery. And kill this camp here. All right, barbarians. What are you gonna do next? You're like right outside my city. Woohoo! There's your archery. Oh, I know it's Hanoi. Yeah, Hanoi. That is the, the barbarian was right next to the city state, so the city state could kill it. Ah. Uh, I just keep. I'm just keeping my warriors very close by to the barbarians right now when I move them. Your city should be able to attack the barbarians currently. There should be a little. Oh, there it is. Uh, attack. Yes. Good job. Now they're like, oh, you killed some of our folks. We're angry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep these scouts in my city so that. Yep, they don't get killed. I would attack next to the, with your warrior, the barbarian. Yeah. Now, like. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep it, I'm keeping a scout and a warrior because there's no, I, there's, I'm gonna keep my only one set of scouts right now. Warsaw can fire upon the enemy. Whoa, keeps going yeah, back to your two, place. Two barbarians, yeah, I'm attacking this camp. Yeah, so it keeps bringing me from. Oh, there we go. Now I have my workers. Yes, the barbarians will try to steal your workers, so I'm not sure I would move them to the north on your sheep yet until you destroy both barbarian units. There may be a camp. Oh, wow, there's more barbarians. I didn't see them at first. Yeah. Right, I'm going to move them a bit sure. south, maybe. That's fine. I have a lot of gold around I can mine anyway. You can also... You can only build workers. can only do things in your territory. Um, a good thing to do would be to build farms along the river. To uh -huh. increase your growth rate. Um... Now you're going to want to next, I would say, build another warrior, probably. That's exactly or, what I was going for. Or a granary. That's exactly what I was going for. Oh, you have... A, I found your AI down to the south. Uh-huh. Where there's some gold. You'll see kind of a purple with a yellow outline. Ah, God damn it, the ruins are gone. Yeah, that probably means you have Rome to yourself. I think I recognize 
Hmm. Which is going to be entertaining because Rome is very warlike and will probably try to kill you. Oh, okay. So I should avoid <laughs> Rome. <sighs> I don't want to really... Can I not move a unit? You can do what's called fortify. Uh-huh. Click on the unit. Um... Because, like, I don't, I have, uh, I mean, well, actually, I can move them a bit north, maybe towards the bigger barbarians. If you click on them, your just screen should open up, a menu should open up on the side of the screen. Uh huh. One of the things on there should be alert, uh, and, or fortify. That'll make the unit take a defensive formation, uh -huh. and then you won't have to move it if you don't want to. Or you can just also tell it do, to do nothing. Uh huh. Just stand there and not move. I could attack in theory. Yep, scouts can attack. Well, even they don't do it very well, but they can. Well, because my my warriors are right next to a bunch of barbarians. Mm -hmm. It's the remaining small amount of barbarians. Yep. So should, would I be wise to take out the remaining ones with my a bunch of? Uh... Oh, with your warriors, yes. Because I mean, there's I such. Need your warriors to attack the barbarians to your, to there. Ah, uh, there's one left. What the hell? Yeah. That happens. Either your warriors or your city. Could... I would recommend having your city shoot the one that's to your north. Oh, well, yeah. Your east. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do when I can see it, when it happens. Yeah. Alright, I can promote my unit. I am going to steal it. Where'd they go, the northern? They, they, like, ran away or... No. Yeah, they probably moved up toward the north. Oh, well. City will attack the last guy. There we go. Yeah, and then I'd move your worker on the sheep or the deer. Um, I would not move your warrior, though, because probably those guys are going to come back. What are you? Dies. Oh, shoot. There's another damn barbarian camp near me. Ugh. Why have so many barbarians? Can you attack the like attacking the camp's probably not smart, right? Because I assume that they're probably ready for uh, being attacked. Uh, depending on how many units you have, I would not attack it with what you have. If you have two uh, warriors, then I would attack it. But I don't. What, I'm building them. Does, yeah, what that does is it, it will get rid of and stop them from producing other units. Because uh -huh. every time you go have over those camps, they just generally produce units. Um, you ever played Gauntlet? They're a monster producer from Micron Gauntlet. Heard of it, but never played it. Okay. All right. A lot of other games have monster producing mm -hmm. buildings. I don't know what. I can't think of another one right now, though. Uh, I guess I can't do much on wheat. Um, if it's in your city radius, yes. No, it's no. not. It's right. It's okay. like directly yeah. outside. I would. I would. I would move your worker back up to. It'll. No, that won't eventually be in your city radius. When you build your next city, though, you'll do it near that wheat. Um, uh, I would go up to the sheep with your worker. Yeah, but that's where the possible ambush is. Well, yeah, but just move your warrior up toward there, and okay. when they come by, you can kill them. All right. Because you're not going to be able to do anything with your work to the south since it's outside your city radius. Okay, work is going to work within? Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. And, they, and you can't work. The, any tile outside your city radius, so... Oh, I, I thought the workers could do anything. It, it, yeah, it's worthless doing anything outside Oh, so that means I can't even mine the damn silver yet. You're right. Eventually, your city will expand up to take that tile, or you can buy that tile, um, mm. and then you can work on it. Hello, Rome. All yeah, right. Yeah, Rome that was to yourself. That's going to be fun. I will need to start building military units and sending them your way. Can I just give Rome money? You can. It will. I would not do so yet. Uh, um. What do I want to build next? Hmm. Let's build a caravan. Um. If they ask you to, I would. <laughs> but uh -huh. not right now. I recommend you construct a farm here. Increase the output of food provided by this tile, spraying the birth of new citizens. Huh. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should do that That's then. one thing your worker can do. That's a good idea. Alright, right so... Inside the river is another place you can do that too. 
Uh, yeah, which I'll get to out. Oh, let's build one here. I mean, I can build as many as I want, right? Yep. All right, cool. On any tiles that can support a farm. Okay, I see. I should have been doing that stuff then. All right. Really, literally the only place I can explore is to the south. And those barbarians have hightailed out of here. Because they are not reappearing. Which is good. They, they got afraid. Haha. <laughs> Maybe That's not. That's right. The mighty Polish. Oh, yeah. You don't want to see an angry Polish guy. Um, I can hear my voice and your audio sometimes from Discord. Just an input. That's weird because I am using headphones. That's, that is weird. That is very weird. Your headphones are either really loud or you somehow... I have no idea, actually. My, I have one of those headphone mic things where my mic is attached to my headphones. Maybe that's why. Well, anyways, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. Okay, what unit Sorry have I... That. That's fine. So it's not the biggest deal. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to do with these warriors. I might keep them close to your city until you see that other uh, barbarian. I guess. Or you could, when you get the second, I might move both down to attack that camp. Hello? Uh, Romans, I think? Yep. Where, how, why did they get there so fast? Where they come from? Down to the south. All yeah. right, I get to found a pantheon. They, they just okay. like... I didn't even see them move there. They just appeared out of nowhere. Jeez. Damn Romans. That's fine. They're going to, uh... I guess I'll They're go... They're not going to do anything to you right now. That's fine. Rome's bound to fall anyways at some point. When in Rome. There we go. Okay. I need to get away from you. Next turn. You could kill me. I basically have to keep going. Ooh, Constantinople. Yep, they're to my south. I got, I got like, I got Genoa and Rome. Turn 24, okay. I need to kill this barbarian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to click here. Stop going to battle. Sorry. I accidentally clicked out. Okay, anyway. Because I'm like, suddenly I have to do like 24 moves to go somewhere. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah, I got like nothing on my land. After you build that warrior, you'll probably want to build a grainer. Yeah, whatever. And then start building a second city, a second settler go down to get that wheat um, and uh, the little lake down south of you. Or you could go to the uh, west and get that golden stone. Those I'm going to fortify my warriors. Good they're, idea. They don't need much healing, but Genoa's under attack. Oh, no. They're not even coming for me, the damn Romans. That's barbarians, I suspect. Oh, uh, Maybe. Because you know is over here, aren't they? Are yeah. They okay, right I thought maybe the Romans were going there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Everything just keeps... May I adopt a policy. All right. <sighs> so if you click on your policy, you'll bring all those up. Those are your bonuses, depending on your culture. Mm -hmm. Tradition is good in the early game, because you're generally only going to have one city. You can also do honor, which will make your warriors better attacking barbarians and other units. Since you have Rome on your on uh, your continent, that might be a good idea. I really wouldn't do liberty. Uh, you're not going to want to produce cities that fast. Mm. It looks like you went honor because we all found out where a lot of barbarian encampments are. Yeah. And there is one. And there of is course, one. the damn Romans. That's not. Oh, there's the other barbarians that were yeah. north. They just appeared out of nowhere. So now that's... I got. So now I got Romans and barbarians. It's like the worst that's case cool. scenario. Yep. Well, then, uh, I can get close to Rome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again. It keeps going to your screen to show a fight. Yeah. Jeez. It's because we're allied. Sorry. 
Jeez, man. Every time I... Wow, I just moved to the wrong space now. I will... If we do this again, I'll try to turn that option I'm off. Now cl I'm now closer to Rome than ever. As long as you don't go into their territory, you're oh, fine. No, I'm close. I'm like one spot away. It won't, uh, and if you go in their territory, it will, it'll stop you and say, do you want to do this, doing this? Oh, and man, more saying, barbarians. No! More barbarians. Oh, yeah. Well, then. Yeah, when you get that second warrior unit, it's time to go kill some barbarian camp. Yeah, well, right now I don't have them yet. Two turns, I'm going to get archery, and I can really go kill some barbarians. Oh boy, these guys are getting mighty close. Could go far down that way and really take a. Oh shoot, I lost a scout. Uh, you have discovered archery. The enemy has been spotted near Warsaw. Yes, they have. Well, this would be a good time to attack the Romans. No, I can't. Yeah, you got archery because I researched it. Um, um because of. Are be, us being allied, usually you would not have gotten archery. Oh, you can't even attack Romans. You can only attack barbarians with when you're with your city. If the barbar Romans had declared war on you, then you could attack them with your city. Ah. Uh, you don't want to declare war on them yet. They would. No. So right now they're kind of harmless. Right until they decide to declare war on you. Okay. You have writing, and if you have. Uh, not a lot of military, they will probably decide to declare war on you. Uh. I'm going to go bronze working so we can figure out where the iron is because that will help us decide where we want to build our next cities. I guess I'll put these guys more north then. Oh my god, these barbarians are getting mighty close to my damn uh, scouts. Yeah, I just lost a scout to a barbarian. It happens. I need to move my scouts up and start getting workers. Actually, I should put them on the hill, maybe. Alright, Warsaw, you're going to attack the barbarians again. Whoa, just accidentally clicked too far. Huh, I wonder if they would go after the Romans. They, they're they right next to each other, and, they're, and the barbarians are facing the Romans. Oh well, I'll sure I'll make their numbers smaller. Might as well. Choose production. All right, I got more production to choose. Which means I got my new warrior. We, if you can new, choose new production, you got your uh, new bunch of the stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I got more warriors. All right. Hmm. Yeah. So you can build a shrine. Ah. Uh. Yeah, well, it's good to pay on your point of view. Ah, uh, okay. No, but that's where all well, that's where all the views are. Okay, what are you now? Polish warrior. I got two warriors now. So keep one warrior in the city and have what, another warrior go fight barbarians or put the... Okay. Well, first I gotta kind of get rid of these northern guys, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll have them attack then. Our unit's out of moves. Damn, god, okay, move you, no, you, go up. No, because they'll st still be on moves, because they can only... If I run out of moves, I can't attack, right? Okay, I see. Well, they're diagonal from each other. Is that can that be attacked? Okay, okay, just just, just checking. All right. Oh, I can make it dumb. I can make it. Oh, ye. 
Oh my god, more barbarian encampments. I can't, I'm basically just stalling my exploration now. They're actually, I actually can't now explore anymore with that, with these barbarians. Oh, barely. Oh yeah, I guess so. I can. Unless they decide to... Actually, I'm out of... Oh, it's next turn. Oh, of course it would be until it falls. Well, the the barbarians are kind of going away now, but you know what? Before they leave, you shall die. Oh, seriously, one guy left. That's it. You guys are gonna fight now. I'm gonna have you attack. Boom! There's one guy left. I mean, how long does it take to kill one guy? Seriously. At that's like in, that's like the time in Roller Coaster Tycoon. It exists solely to give you the... Ooh, what the hell? I just saw some numbers above my warriors. I... Uh, really? Okay. More barbarians. I can't even move these warriors then that much. Ooh, have you done... They've done farming here. Time to move them to more farming. I guess on the next turn. Eh... Uh, Yeah, well, that I mean, well, it's not really a ca it's not really a camp. They're actually moving around. Uh huh. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see now. All right, I see. I see it. Okay, so now basically I can start moving them closer towards these dudes up north, and then eventually make them go down south. Ah. Uh. Okay then. Hi, Rome. Wow, Rome, you look tiny compared to what I thought. Ooh, Warsaw has grown, apparently. Alright. Well, it was a shrine that I clicked in the end, so. You guys gain enough experience to be promoted, huh? Well, I think I should choose rough train because my train looks pretty damn rough. Yeah, so I'm going to choose the yeah, answer so I'm going to do. They're not really dying anyway right now. Yeah, that's that. So, I mean, the other guys have been even seen a fight yet. All right. Which unit needs orders? You guys need an order? Well, I guess I'll move you up to the barbarians. Well, maybe I'll start, I guess, while the other guys will start coming. Oh, oh come on. Now they disappeared again. I, they're there and then they're not there. Oh, I see. What a bunch of sneaky bastards. All right, then. Oh, my God, really? I basically hit... I have no more exploration left, almost. Yeah. Uh -huh. So basically, scouts are kind of useless to build right now because there's almost nowhere left to scout. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. I should start panicking then. 
Okay. Well, when I get a chance. All right, who needs orders? You guys need orders, I see. Well, I guess move. All right, Rome, I'm watching you. You're gonna, f you're gonna, you're gonna construct farm. It's gonna take six turns. That's why it took them so long. Bam! Next turn. But I mean, in theory, I could play this game any way I want. Like your your advice is just that advice, pretty much. Uh oh. They're mining gold. I don't know what they're going to do with the gold. Oh, okay. So basically, they're harmless right now. Unless they get too happy, it means they're trigger happy. I've, I've never played that game. I've heard of it, but I've never played it. Yeah, Zero Gears. Zero Gears was the first one I played. Yeah. Wait, no, no, you mean Xenoblade Two? Yeah, because no, Zero Gears is a completely different game. Yeah, well, that was my that was that was my first blind LP. Yeah, yeah, but I've seen weird stuff everywhere else too. Yeah, yeah. Even even Nier has its own bit of weirdness. Yeah. Well, even the well, because there's two Niers now. There's Nier and Nier Automata. And and I actually and I actually played Nier first, luckily because I think a lot of unfortunately a lot of people didn't get to play the first Nier when it came out, or even like before Nier Automata came out. So. There's a lot. They do actually connect the two stories, you know. And they so they're getting part. They're like getting parts of the story from near without having experience near, which is kind of you know not fun. It's 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 a bit unrefined, but it's not like it's bad. I just lost a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I guess. Well, I, can, I guess I can fortify heal them if anything. Uh huh. What the, what the hell is a Xenonator? Oh. Oh. Man, I've already, I've already blanked out on that series apparently. You, you play so many games in a short stretch that you just like you forget things. I... Well, also there's the fact that it's localization, which changes things. Yeah, well, <laughs> she's an interesting character. You know what? I'm enjoying Xenoblade 2 personally, but I enjoyed the first Xenoblade. Like, I really like... I like the MMO kind of, you know, more action-oriented game. Oh. Okay, well, the, yeah, I haven't really experienced the Blade stuff as much. Well, I mean, it's not random. I, I mean, well, I mean, the Blade you get is random, but you can choose... You can kind of, I think... Um, Influence the type of blade you get I played around I was playing around a bit on my own the game because I think I was a bit Not necessarily under level, but I hadn't really played around with enough like I played more of the uh, Tiger tiger to get more stuff for poppy on my own So I'm hoping to make my poppy more uh, powerful Because uh, I think poppy yeah. You also have been getting more skills So I've been able to open different barrels doors and it's, there's a lot of stuff to do with that game, but but at least it's not as crazy as Xenoblade X. That game 
had way too much. Way too Like, I don't know if you've ever seen it. Oh my god, there's way too much stuff in it. Like, it's hard to keep track of everything. Well, we... There's a mix of, you know, being inside of, uh... You know, what they call dolls. Which is like, you know... I guess you would say it's similar to the Gears. But, um... It's a different because it's more like, you know, again, it's all action combat inside the dolls. And it, it, you can hop in and out. And it's, it's like... Phew, nuts the game's nuts I mean if you want to watch my LP of it but it's like because the thing is like there's menus and menus and menus inside menus inside and the text is so small and it's, it's oh my god it's it's yeah but there's there's more than average I'd say because there's equipment and then there's your do, your your equipment for your dog I mean I have I, it's been a while since I played the game but you'll see there's way too much you can do. There's way too much customization even for the average person. I think even most hardcore people are like, okay, this is too much. When the hardcore people are saying this is too much, I think we got a problem. Yeah. I'm going to heal my unit. Yeah. Here's the, you know what? I, I, I like... I know it's such a weeb thing, but I do like that kind of her character thing because at least she's not boring. What the hell are you doing, you Romans? Oh, probably. Well, it's, uh, you'd also have to consider how it was in the original Japanese version. I don't know yet. I'm thinking they did at least, you know, I mean, here's the thing. The first Xenoblade had a really good um, translation, but it was localized to, to very British, but people love what they heard in it. Okay, you've been like muted for a while, I think, for some reason, so you your audio might not even been captured. I don't even know how, what, when did that happen? You just didn't want to hear me talk. No, you know what? I might have... Oh, my God. So, it might just be me talking to nobody for a while. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> because I just looked. I saw something weird in the uh, audio. I was like, what the hell? Instead of DB... Oh, my God. I, I know how to screw up something. That's going to be great when we put this up. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to recover that. No. It's all right, though. It'll be good. Yeah. That'll be fun. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about Xena Gears to nobody. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, I'm usually talking to nobody anyway. The, uh, but yes, no, I have been here. He's not, he's not crazy. Don't call the people in the white coats yet. It's okay. Uh, I got in his head. No, uh, there's a bunch of people who call me crazy anyways. Caravan establishes land-based trade routes between two civilizations that yields gold. Those are nice. Yeah. Well, I only have you two built, options. You built the... the you, I wouldn't build a settler yet. I might build an archer. I don't know. Um, but a caravan would be a good thing, too. You could put a trade route in Genoa. You could also put a trade route between yourself and Rome. You might not. The problem there is you'd be helping Rome a little bit because mm -hmm. they'd be making money from your trade route as well. And you may not want to do that. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm going to let me see. Let me see. Oh, well, I could go for settlers. Maybe found new cities. Yep, that's also an option. I mean, might as well start ex right might as well start expanding a little bit. Mm -hmm, Ooh, I mm -hmm. could promote a unit. Ooh, -hoo. I think I'm gonna heal these guys. They do other things later in the game that are kind of and I see Saga too that are seem to be making fun of animeness, which you know sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, pirates. Um, uh, what do you mean? Well, because I just saw a ship. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Those are barbarian ships. Ah. Uh, and there's a barbarian archer to your south uh, that you'll want to take out eventually as well. Eh. You may want to move your worker into your city so it doesn't get taken. My workers are in my it. city. No, the one that's out building a farm. Oh, guys. well, I mean, oh my god, there's even barbarian archers. Yeah, that's what's that's down to the south. My God, barbarians everywhere. Yep. Hopefully they'll make Rome fall. 
Yeah, well, I, I kind of doubt it. So I would just take this camp out pretty quickly and then move your other warriors. Yeah, well, unfortunately, these warriors are kind of now in the way. So I can't really do much with them. Wait, can I? Oh, no. The, yeah, just attack them with the one that you have over there. And that the uh, one that can't get to them back towards your city to take out the archers, baby. Okay, yeah. I see what you, you mean. You won't need two to take out this camp now that you've gotten rid of the warrior that it spawned. I shall invent the wheel! Yes! Okay, then you can build chariots and roads to connect oh. your cities. Eh. Alright, so these guys should really start moving. Maybe I should, I'll, I'll move them to kill... Well, there's also that one lone bomb. Why is there always one? I wouldn't worry about him. Your city can kill him when you get close. Okay. These scouts are pretty much have nothing to do. I mean, Rome's still just digging for gold. Yeah, I might just leave one of them, or both of them, kind of close to Rome to just see what they're doing. All right, somebody founded a pantheon. Okay. Budapest wants Hanoi bullied. What? <laughs> city-states will want you to do things to other city-states. What that means is they want you to build, put your military close to them and scare them and make them give you money. Uh, Basically threaten them and be like, I will kill you if you don't give me money. I generally don't do that, but that is something you can do. I think in higher levels of play, you kind of have to. Hooray! You have captured Cats. barbarian encampment. And need money. I should really buy something or purchase some land. I don't really have any tile that I really need anymore, do I? Well, the farmers are done. Finally, they hopefully have them now. I'm going to go through the video afterwards and see how much I messed up on it. Also, to monitor the levels and everything, make sure... Oh, what? Barbarians are in Rome! Yes! Rome will kill them, unfortunately. An enemy is near. Hey, I have an archer! Oh, wow, they're in the city! Hmm. Alright, you guys... I'm going to have you attack. Oh, that didn't help because they're archers. Oh, okay. No, Actually, that was kind of, kind of okay. Yeah, you'll kill them. Archers I, are easy to kill. Yeah, it's just because I saw them launch their attack first. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Where's my unit? Archers are great ranged units. They can kill things from two tiles away. So, they're pretty nice. You, later, you can build artillery, which can attack things from mm. way, and are just wonderful. Chop down a forest. I can chop down a forest. Yep. Will make the tile long term less. Uh, you will produce less on that tile long term if you uh -huh. chop down the forest, but you'll get a production boost currently from chopping down the wood. So it's basically whatever you want to do. Yeah. Depending on, do you want to build something quickly now, or do you want to build a lot of things quickly throughout the course of the game? Okay. I generally do not chop down forests unless I'm building a wonder. Okay. Wonders are specific things like Stonehenge that give you great bonuses, but they can only build, only one civilization in the entire world can build them. Mm. So it's like a race to build them. Stonehenge, Statue of Liberty, I can't think of one that's in Canada. Um, a monument? Pyramids. A uh, monument would not be a wonder. It's a great thing to build. Yeah. If you go down the tradition policy tree, you can free since you went down honor. You might want to build it. And Rome is about to go that way. We are really not building a lot of military. That is weird. Hehe. <laughs> I'm lucky. Yes. I can adopt a policy now. Warrior code or discipline? Or you can open up another tr group. You can open up a tradition now. If you Production want to. when training melee units and a great general appears outside the capital. Great generals are earned 50% faster. 
or combat strength for melee units which have other another military unit in an adjacent tile. If you are going to attack somebody, great generals are really good to have. They make all the units around them stronger. I think we're going to go for that. Great generals are um, kind of the first type of great person. You have great generals, great artists, great scientists. Might as well do that because, you know, want to make myself strong. Mm-hmm. Especially with all these stupid barbarians who keep popping up uh, half the time. Great general will be an actual general named from the country. Mm -hmm. You have, oh, it just says Polish great general and it says Chuck. It just named it your name. That's yeah. Awesome. Come on, last last barbarian. Might as well kill him. That's right. Usually they'll be named like Hanarabi or from history, but are actual great generals. Yeah. I have been in China and gotten Robert E. Lee, the general. Mm. Hilarious. Hehe. <laughs> there you can. I guess the general can't do much right now. Yes, you are going to steal a worker from Budapest. Um, I would put him close to any of your military units that are fighting. Okay. Because they will make those units stronger. Or you can have it build like a citadel, which will make, uh, which is what you just did. Yeah. Which will make, now that tile is really, really protected. Anything that sits in that tile will be, has great protection. If it gets defense, it increases 100%. Okay. And you increased your territory, so you now have more um, territory. Ah, cool. You can't, you can't build, you can't really work with that tile as effectively. Ah. So if you go into your city and look at where your workers are working, they're probably not working that tile anymore. No, well, they weren't working. That was a decent, that was a decent, decent place. Yeah, right next to my two farms. Mm-hmm. And nice and protected now. Yeah, no, right now the f they're making a, a pasture, the workers. Can, yep, on the sheep. You can put an archer in there. And so they're ham they're hammering sheep. <laughs> no, they're hammering a fence. Okay, but I wanna I wanna pretend they're hammering sheep. Okay, all right. <laughs> Welcome to my deranged mind. Yes, they're gonna hammer the sheep and make bloody sheep carcasses. Wow, there's no other carcass but a bloody carcass. Well, this is true. And I was just telling people you weren't crazy. Come on now. Uh, you don't know my, you, you, you don't know me in my real life, though. No, I, yeah, I don't. No, no, you, you don't want to, if, if we were to actually talk like uh, I would in real life, you would actually have called the workers an hour ago. They were the mm. white coats workers an hour ago. Mm. I don't need to do that. I can talk like that off stream one day. <laughs> I kind of tone myself down while I'm uh, recording. Oh my god, stop doing that! Okay. Man, did I just mess. Oh, I just messed up my warriors. Because it brought me, like, far away. God damn it. There's nothing happening. Rome is so boring. Oh, they have workers now. Man. They must be building a wonder or something. The Rome is. Yeah, sure. Not doing anything. So boring to watch. Okay, we discovered. Bronze working, so we can build spearmen now, and we should know where the iron is. Yeah, there's iron to my south. Good. Let's see where the iron is on your map. Oh, good. You have iron right close to your capital. Come on. You want to build a city that will get that iron? Come on, slaves, see, work. Rome has iron. Yep, Rome has iron too. Damn it. I was hoping they didn't. Oh well. Rome's unique unit, the legion, requires iron. Okay, I will join you in building the wheel. That go faster. The wheel is useful. Where does Rome have iron? So if you look to their east, where your, uh, where exactly where your um, scout is sitting. Oh, that's the. Oh, that's the. I, I'm. I. They, well, it's not in their city limits. Right. Right. It will eventually be in their city limits enough, and they'll be able to get and uh, make things. Oh shit. That unit don't die. Damn it, you did. Alright, I'm gonna have to buy a warrior. Enemy is it. near. Damn it. I screwed up. They're inside my citadel. 
Okay, so I need to get you guys back really fast because I, when it changed screen, I moved them out for accidentally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My God. Damn it, man. They're in my citadel. They won't give them any better defense. And it'll actually hurt them. They'll lose some health every Okay. So that's kind of good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I don't really know what to do with these scouts anymore. I'm so bored of Rome already. All right, next I just turn. Move there and watch it. Yeah, I guess. You don't have, just don't have. You don't have to move them. With yeah. two of them and a warrior, you could maybe you could definitely take out that warrior camp down to your south. Yeah. Well, I just, first I want to take care of the guys in my city. Yes, 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 yes. That would yes. Agreed. Wait, where do you keep? Here we go. Oh my God! I'm starting to smoke up. Yeah, they destroyed your citadel. Your worker will have to go back there. Right? Yeah, it's because it keeps, because it keeps. I would have had them still inside, but every time you you do something, it goes to like your screen. Mm. I can't change that now, yeah. or I would. I'll let you finish your turn first before I do mine, so that way it'll not go to my screen. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you before I'm gonna fight anything. Uh -huh. and I'll ask. I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna, gonna go to my screen now. All right, all right. Oh my God! Ah! Get away from my scouts! All right. I guess I'm gonna have to. Once these barbarians leave, I'm gonna have to start repairing that thing. Not really? They'll die next turn. Yeah, probably. All right. Next turn. Genoa targets nearby encampment. The barbarian encampment near Genoa. They want somebody to destroy. Well, first my city's priority. Oh, yep. I think there they are. They're heading towards my farmers. Oh. Warsaw. Attack. There we go. Dead. Dead, the barbarian. You guys need to go and fix stuff. All right, I guess I can start heading towards there, maybe. I guess I'll go help them out. I don't see any. Let me see. All I see is the encampment. Maybe I should go for the... I don't know. Because it's like two... It's close, close to your city. Yeah, I try and take out both those encampments. Yeah, so I guess I'll target the one near Genoa first. Smart. You may want to heal your warriors up before you do that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to get them closer first, and then I'll heal. Okay. Sounds good to me. Things heal faster inside your territory. Just so you know. I'll get a reward if I uh, defeat the barbarians. An enemy unit has a spot near my territory. Here. In my farm. That doesn't make sense. There's no one there. Yeah, I'm not sure what it means by that. I'm not seeing anybody near your territory either. Maybe it was left over. Yeah, from when the... That's possible. I mean, if it's the encampment, they're not really gonna... Oh, wait, they look like they're almost ready to start doing stuff, actually. I want you to repair. I bet repair is going to take a lot of my turns. Alright, I guess now is the time for healing. Hmm, I noticed that my scouts... Are they still alive? Yeah, they are. How come I haven't been... Huh. Jesus Christ. Where did, did, where did these guys come from? Uh, 
this guy we're talking about now? Oh, it's to my south. Oh, there's probably that barbarian encampment. Oh, man. Well, I'll just have to make the best of it. Yeah, you're too... Um... Actually, these guys aren't even going to be able to make it over the mountain anyway. I just realized. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to turn around somehow. Uh, by the th they might as well head back and get the other barbarians, maybe, because yeah. uh, they'll never make it. Yep. Smart. I'll have these guys. I'm, I'm recovering them right now anyway, so... All right, Warsaw, you can help out and attack the enemies who are very close. Like, way too close for comfort. I think my farmers need to, like, move away. I'm not, not, not my farmers, my workers. Go up! Hey, what are my scouts doing? Oh no, my farm! Oh. The settler, be careful you don't put it close to the barbarian, because barbarians will. Yeah, well, they just appeared right because they just got created. Yeah, and where you want to put that next city is difficult. See, I would go to the south near the line. Yeah, well. Currently, I just want to get them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe on this hill to your southwest. Because um, you have stone, fish, line, iron. And I don't know if you can get the wheat there or not. Mm. No, you can't get the wheat there, so maybe not on the hill. You don't want to do it on the line. So how come I'm not controlling my scouts anymore? You probably gave them an order. Without realizing that, it. Yeah, or they're just moving from... Or you put them on auto explorer. I don't remember doing that at all. Yeah, I don't know. You should be controlling them. They're your units. They're, they're moving their, on their own. They move so far away from Rome. I never did that. That's weird. I'm not sure. May have given them an order without realizing it. Oh, well, I'm going to now put them onto move mode. Yeah, there we go. I guess I accidentally did something with them without realizing. Of course, I moved them right next to the damn barbarians. Thanks a lot. I'm talking about myself. Hmm. Yes, Monaco, I will take your worker also. Uh, at least they start retreating. Oh, because there's only one left anyway. You guys are going to need to uh, get away from these damn barbarians. Barbarians. After you heal that um, warrior, that warrior and your two scouts can probably take out the camp to your south. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take out this encampment. Oh, that was probably not a good idea. Well, you can heal. Yeah, on the next the, turn. The, barbar the barbarians can't heal. Uh, so you can just kind of attack them, heal, attack them. Okay. Now they may spawn another unit. They have a tendency to spawn another unit when you're close to them and attacking them. Mm -hmm. So you may want to watch out for that. I'm going to need to repair my farm. All right, settlers. I don't know what to do with them right now. To the north? To the south? The southwest near the wheat, the iron, the stone, the wine, and the... Well, the wine... Um, oh, okay. Iron, wheat... I know I had wine down south. But my wine is actually up north. I am not sure w exactly where to put it. That hill right near the fish would be good, but it would not allow you to get the wheat. Ooh, um, ooh, I know what to do here. Well, the 
move south to the wheat would be good. It wouldn't allow you to get the fish, though, but you'd get the wheat, the stone, and the iron. Yeah, I guess um, south for now. So, it's kind of a these guys. One. These guys need to heal. Oh, my God. Did I just really... I didn't mean to move them at all. Well, no, that's too good. They'll heal in your city. Oh, okay. All right, fine, then. Who needs to move? You guys do. You guys will, I guess. So even my scouts can attack, I guess, as long as I have warriors mm -hmm. nearby. Oh, they can attack without warriors nearby. I wouldn't necessarily think it's a good idea, but yes, they can attack. All right, so I think about till nine o'clock should be about good. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I did get some comments about being too long uh, sometimes my, when my videos started getting longer that people were like I don't have enough time to watch it now you know no problem no problem okay let's see uh, uh, man this would be a good time to heal them with the promotion I think even though I have so many yeah. more buffs I can give them but I guess that yes. can yes yes if you're talking about the ones near your near the um, yeah the encampment yes yes now you can kill the barbarians easily Cool. You know and we'll like you more. Oh, Good my, thinking. My farm needs to be repaired. I have founded New York. Oh, amazing. Oh, thank you, Byzantine, for taking out those barbarians. So nice. I like it when the AI is helpful. Oh, writing. Need libraries. All right, kill the rest of them. Oh, now there's archers. You'll be able to get them next turn, too. Yeah, I guess. It's just I didn't see them at first. Genoa's declared war on Monaco. Wow. Good going declaring war on Monaco when you're so far away. Now, wait a minute. Why am I... <laughs> oh, I haven't made peace with these city-states after I took their settlers. What's wrong with Ge What's wrong with Genoa? It's just attacking everyone. It's just declaring war on everyone. Okay, I have to... I, um... <laughs> took, took workers from city-states... And generally, when you do that, the idea is you take a worker from a city-state, and then you make peace with the city-state on the same turn, so they never attack you. Uh, I forgot to make peace with the city-states. Shame <laughs> on you. So they they ended up attacking me a little bit, but they can't do anything. They're kind of mm, kind of weak. All but right. I have two workers now that I didn't have to build. This is always nice. Uh, I need more happiness. Haroi wants Monaco bullied. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the barbarian moved. Oh my God! There's a a single barbarian moved into uh, Rome, and the barbarians just the archers just took down some of my freaking warriors. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I mean, if I attack them now. I mean, look. Oh, if you attack them now. Because they. I would do so. Um, they have very low defense. You might not kill them completely, but you'll get really close. And that will make them be able to kill you less next turn. Yeah. The less health the unit has, the less damage it does. You guys need to repair, man. Wait, what's this? Yep, need to repair that farm and then go up and finish building the sheep. Yeah. Getting another warrior, that's good. Can never have too many of those, really. Oh, no, not with all these barbarians around. Especially since Rome is building none. <laughs> <laughs> Rome, what are you doing? You got two barbarians in your place you're probably going to kill anyway. Alright. Okay, so how do settlers work anyway? You put them where you want to found a city. And oh. Then, like you did with your capital, you, uh, well, the the, o the only place to found that's close by is actually right next to a barbarian encampment. So, I can't. No, you could you can found um if you go southeast one tile, you can found right there next to the wine, the iron, and the wheat. I don't know. Don't you need a marking for that? Not sure what you mean by a marking. Well, because no. it says that when you like with the settlers, you need to. Pay, it says I recommend you build a city here. Oh, 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 oh! 
No, it's just telling you where the AI thinks you should build a city. You do not have to build a city where the AI is telling you to okay, build. Okay, I see. Okay, all right. Because I'm, if I, um, what, I can't do anything with them right now. It it likes to give you advice. Sometimes the advice is good. Sometimes it's not. Where is it suggesting you build a city? Oh, there's found. Okay, I see. It's suggesting near the encampment. Mm. That is a good um, place if you got rid of the encampment first, since it's so far away from your other city. Though it might not. Uh, and it's so close to Rome, it would tick Rome off and make Rome more likely to declare war. <laughs> uh, that would be, I, 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 I should tick off Rome for. No, I'm not gonna tick off Rome. <laughs> for the lulls, yeah. Yeah. I would not yet. Must wait a bit. Wait till I get some uh, units that I can put over there next to him. Yeah, oh my god. This sucks, man. Well. Uh, well. No, nope, you'll kill him. Yeah, Take there we up. go. I lost a few men in the process. They were good men. Oh well, back to the drawing board. They're doing their job. Okay, so th the Polish king. there's these Romans next to me. If I found here, which is near the ore and the wine, what are they going to do? That will, that will nothing. Okay. Them. Well, they're, just move. they're technically in my territory anyway. I did not mean to move. I accidentally do things sometimes. Oh, my God. Okay, you warriors will should do what? I guess maybe stay around the city or maybe I'll move them south. Yeah, I'm not moving them south to take out that other camp. Maybe he bring both warriors since that you can bring both warriors there. Yeah, well that warrior also need that warrior group needs to be like recovered massively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like use some scouts to do it. Yep. Your scout can take out that warrior, that brute that's uh, very low to the south. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Can I attack him right now? Yeah, I can. Bam! <laughs> it took one... It, he was like, whacking, whacking. One of my scouts just goes up, hit. Oh, dead. <laughs> but now, these this, this encampment's kind of torn towards my scouts. That's not good. They're not going to leave there unless you get closer, I don't think. They yeah. might. So if in theory go a bit further away. Oh my god! I forgot about you guys. Ah, that one's so close to Rome. I'd let Rome do oh. it. Oh. Ah. You guys can go bye bye. Bye bye. Mm hmm. around at my policies let's see military tradition military units gain 50 more experience from combat that's good yeah I think I might as well start building some of the treaties for my military for now since I'm still weak all right you're good All right, warriors, head down. You settlers can then do this. Found city, I guess, here? Reasonable. Okay, wait, how do you do this? Found so city. So you click on the unit. Yeah. It should be in the right, on the left side of order says found city another menu should pop up just like you did with your capital hold on well hold on so click on that unit okay I click on it okay and I be left a yeah I now it's not I can't do anything with it now it doesn't say there's not an order that says build found city 
Nope. All I have is Warsaw is ready for a new construction project. Are you clicking on the settler or are you clicking on? I did. I did. Okay. Okay. If you click on the settler, the new menu will be to the left. Yeah, it is. But found city is not clickable right now. Can I found okay, city? You... Oh, would I can't do it within four tiles of another city? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. You're. I didn't think you were within four tiles, but you are. So I would go south to. Um, so it's Genoa's fault. And your capital. I would go directly south toward uh, the wheat and found kind of toward the between the wheat and the wine. Uh huh. It's like two two south basically. Are that you... will be not four away from another city. These okay, warriors, these warriors have to really go far now. All right, let me see. I don't see anyone here, so I guess you guys can start heading south as well. All right, you got three warriors. Yeah, well, ha half of the one of the wars is dead. Maybe some archers would be nice. So I can do a surprise attack. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're weak, but at least, you know, I can get the... Because I guess what you could do is you can uh, use the archers to weaken their numbers, and then you can use your warriors to uh, take them down. Correct. Next turn. If you if you want to take a city, you usually like have a. Oh my God! I just see on TV right now. It looks like they're doing uh, more stop motion movies. All right. And it looks it looks like Wallace and Gromit style. Ah. It's called Early Man. God. I bet that's entertaining. It's... Yeah, it's from the Ard Ard Ardman studio. You know what that studio, right? The ones that I did... do not. I think so. Have you ever seen Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah, it's that it's studio. The, that's that studio. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it looks exactly like Wallace and Gromit. That's cool. But it's not. But it's not Wallace and Gromit. There's a pretty interesting adventure game that's Wallace and Gromit based. I think. Oh yeah, I've never played. I, I, you know what? Uh, we have a channel up here that's called YTV. And they used mm -hmm. to play Wallace and Gromit in the '90s sometimes, you know, which I used to watch. Well, I mean, I, I mean, because there was, you know, it's only three shorts at the time, so you can't overplay them. Yep. That, that, that's our station up here in Canada. So any Canadian would, if you say YTV, they're like, oh yeah, YTV. <laughs> that that's that was the station we watched. Oh, Genoa's doing something. They're workers. Yep. They're improving something within their city state. Good. I, good. If, I if you were friend, if you're friends with them, they'll give you their reason. Yeah. I mean, I just pretty much say their asses. Yep. They probably like you for doing that. A good. Little a little bit. Mm -hmm. But not enough. <laughs> no. If you gave them money now, they probably become your friends. I haven't really. Hey, my money's in the minuses. Oh, that's bad. Are you? What is your? Um, how much gold do you have currently? Uh, two two six. Okay, you're just losing money, but you have a lot of money saved up. Yeah. That's okay. You have a lot of money. We're gonna take some away. Well, it's your every unit you build costs a little bit. Okay. Oh, it's like some city so, then. Since since you have um, a bunch of other uh, military units, that's why when you build your second city, you'll make more money from that city. Yeah. So that'll help. Man, Rome, you're in my way. Like these Roman guys. What? I guess they're just like. They're, they're warriors, and they're just randomly around my city. Yeah, just exploring. It happens. All right, so you can't heal your... Uh, you, wait, can you, yeah, you can't heal. I'm going to heal my scouts. These settlers now. Can I found us? All right, there we go. Good work. Generally, you wouldn't have wanted to do... This is not a terrible thing, but you just basically destroyed the wine that was there. Found it just oh, I didn't see that. But, uh, I have wine up. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's not a huge thing. But usually you don't want to do that. What this will allow you to do, though, is that city will have stone, iron, wheat, and fish. Well, there you good. go. That'll I, be a very good city. There you go. I just got rid of a bit of happiness for resources. Yep, yep. Uh, more production there. When you have oh, because I built a new city. Happiness resource, ate it with your cities, other uh, civilizations. So you'll uh, trade like wine for gold. Mm. Um, it's one way you can increase your happiness. 
because having more than one of the same happiness unit doesn't help you. My God, look at the turns that these things require. You're probably looking at uh, like buildings and wonders. Even the buildings yeah. are even 38 sounds like a lot, and then you have wonders. Yep, it can be. Yeah. But you've only got three people in that city, so I have six and nine right now because I built the granary and I'm on food focus. And that's the question of what do I want to build? Or Granaries are good. Shrines are good. I would not build more military at this point. You've got enough. Eh. Especially since you're losing money. Yeah, I find granary. Uh, if you want to make more money, trade units are always good for that. Well, it makes sense. That's how you make money is through trade. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know my basic economics. <laughs> I mean, I should be good with... I mean, I'm, I'm I'm mostly good at saving money. Good, good. Well, I mean, most people consider me like a miser, but I mean, I do spend. I just don't spend lavishly. But, you know, people like... You the, got that high Canadian tax rate, so, you know... Nah. Well, it, 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 var it varies from province to province, really. Yeah, just like here. Wait, where'd you guys come from? I didn't even see you. They, yeah, they just spawn. That happens. Yeah, I could see that. Jeez, I'm going to kill you now. That would be recommended. These guys are so annoying. Spawning in the middle of nowhere. There you go. Now your encampment's going to die. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, take this. <laughs> that that didn't seem to do much. Did 28 damage. I guess. That's good. Oh my god, they gotta repair their gold mine now. Got yeah, destroyed. Yeah, sh it's been destroyed for a while. That was a bit Antium. Uh-oh, Rome's expanding. Oh, they got their second city, did they? That's yeah. Long I got Krakow. Because, you know, when you think of Polish cities, you think of Krakow. <laughs> it does give them the name, general names for the uh, cities are the realistic ones. I've got Washington and New York. Yeah. Oh, well, next turn. Hey, you surrounded the encampment. You got, sc eventually got scouts riddled. and two warriors. All right. Yeah, you'll take it out. I want another worker. I'm going to take one from Hanoi. All right, guys, you're gonna you're gonna get beaten up again. And then have the other warrior attack them. And I just gave them a buff. Nice. There we go, encampment down. And they have a buff because you have those two warriors next to each other, probably from yeah. the honor. All right, what's so this? You can you can kill them with your scout if you wanted to. Augustus Caesar has entered the classical era. era. Okay, that means he has um, done a tech that moves him along into a different era. If you look at the tech tree, uh, which you can do by just double clicking on, uh, clicking and writing, and then clicking open technology tree, uh -huh. different techs will give you to different eras. We're in the ancient era right now. Next is class. Okay, now the all. now the encampment's go information. now the encampment's gone. I didn't actually destroy it before. I know some guy left. Dead barbarians. Good. The only, the only good type. Yeah, well, Rome's not doing anything about these barbarians. I might as well go after them myself. You could. Maybe, I don't know. I would leave them there to maybe they'll annoy Rome and uh, weaken Rome, which well, is good for you. I guess. Oh, no, man. It's competition. Hey, hey, hey. It was competition to a certain extent. You, you want everybody else weak and you strong. So oh, okay. All right, so eventually I'll kill Genoa then, even though I helped them. Oh, yeah, you could. I, don't I usually know. leave the city-states alone. Okay, so city-states... Okay, I get it. City-states and there's these guys. Okay, I see what you mean now. Um, there's a difference. You a, lo a lot of people, yes. A lot of people just take over everything. Ah. They will kill the city-states too. Well, he's, yeah, well, it depends on who's uh, benefic what's beneficial to you, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys can be promoted too. Even though you were already prom whatever. No, maybe these haven't, I don't know what's going on anymore. Alright, all right. so what do I do with these guys? <laughs> I got so it's after nine, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I was just uh, wondering. I'll finish this turn at least. So this sa does this save automatically, or do I need to do no, something? No, I, I would need to save it, but I can do that. Oh, you need. Oh, I guess you created it. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like in Terraria where I made the uh, map, so it's under. Well, it saves automatically though. Yeah, this saves automatically, but not every turn. Yeah. So. I wonder, would like to make a specific save. Well, you know what? I'll let you finish your next turn too, and then that's when we end it. Okay. I guess I'll set. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going to put everyone back to the city for now because I really have not much else to do. Yep. Time to maybe start building up and seeing if we can destroy Rome. Yeah. Maybe get another city down there where the uh, bar camp was. We can also start building ships because we have uh, ship building take capability and you have a city on the coast. I do not yet. Yeah, I had the and, ship option. And start just figuring out if we want to um, find other places. Uh, okay, let's make more money. Go up to Monaco. And let's build another caravan to make even more money. Uh, you're way ahead of me, right. definitely, but you know this game better than I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was not doing better than you, that would be. All right, game is saved. All right, I'm I good. will exit, I suppose. Oh, I didn't set my outro even. Now I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna do this right on the fly. Oh wait, That's right. I can't be. Oh my god, it's gonna be no outro. So this has been Civ Five. Hopefully he's enjoyed it. I don't know. He can tell you. It's 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 all right. It's just sometimes getting used to, but I can see the fun yeah. in it. I can see the fun in it. When will the next one be? Uh, right now, I have no idea. <laughs> but it'll happen at some point. It's whenever this guy Kitty Spam's available. And yep, yep. and if I have, it can be available tomorrow. Um, and we could continue playing now and then just put this up in a different chunk. You know, however you want to do it. Yeah, uh, well, no, that's because uh, okay. I'm gonna. I need to rest for the rest of the night. Uh, I had yeah, that's it. No, generally my cutoff is about, unless I was like streaming. My cutoffs about you know evening for sh recording. Makes sense. Also, Makes sense. also usually I only record things when I'm alone, but because I'm playing alone with someone, I don't sound like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so usually Saturdays, Correct. usually Saturday and Sundays are my no go unless I'm alone. Okay. Yeah, that's just because that's my way of doing things. All right then, so uh, no outro. Well, I can put the outro, but there's gonna be no video in it because I forgot to set the outro stuff too. Anyways, it's gonna be a blank screen where there would normally be uh, some, you know, <laughs> the game. <laughs> you'll you'll see when it's uploaded. All good. All right then, well, so I had fun. Yeah, I did too. All right. It was a bit rough at the beginning with all the talking about the tutorial and stuff, but I think uh, now I got the hang of it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, then. All right. Talk to you later. Yeah. Till next time. Till next so, time. So long.